So you're moving to the Cleveland area and you're not quite sure where you wanna end up. My goal is to make your life a little bit easier on that decision. And in today's video, we are going to be touring a home over in Parma, Ohio. Now Parma is just south of Cleveland, so you are going to have probably a 30 to 35 minute drive to get up to the area. And the home that we're gonna to be touring today has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it comes in just over 2,700 square feet. So it is a pretty large house that you are going to have a lot of opportunity to grow into if you don't already have a big family. Now, Parma isn't known for its great location as far as highway access. However, this home is on the better side of location in the area because you are going to have a pretty quick drive to get to the highways. It's still not quite ideal, but within 15 minutes, you can find yourself driving down the interstate. Now with this home being on the better side of the location to get to the highways, you also are in between two different shopping plazas that are really great opportunities to get all of your shopping done. You're gonna have very easy access to all of your retail shopping and your grocery shopping, and then you're also going to have all of your restaurants in the area that are going to be offered at the same places as well. So whether you're shopping over on Ridgewood or over on Pleasant Valley, you are going to have some great options to choose from. Now growing up in Parma, I took a lot of things for granted. Just a quick 20 minute drive away is the Cuyahoga Valley National Park and there are some of the most beautiful scenes in the country there and there are a ton of different hikes to choose from if you want to go check out some cool nature areas. Now if you're trying to move to the Parma area, feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description, but my name is Sam Oler and I'm your Cleveland area realtor. Let's get right into this walkthrough. All right, so this is the home that we are gonna be checking out today. You are a corner lot, so you're gonna have a lot of house mixed with a lot of yard. Now, not all of it is backyard. You're gonna have a lot of front and side yard, but you enter the home into this little foyer area where you're gonna have the curved staircase, which is super cool in my opinion. I really love it when they do that. I think it looks really elegant. And then off to the right, you're gonna have your living area. Now in this living room, you're gonna have a lot of space to kind of set up however you want. You're gonna have different options because of those dividers. You can kind of put the TV in that front corner there, or you could put it along the back wall and have your couch slash your sitting area kind of in a parallel pattern to where you're looking straight ahead. You've got a lot of different options. Now, just off of the living room, you are going to have a dining room and this whole living area is carpeted. And it's a pretty old carpet. You can see some stains and some spots where all of the furniture was before but it's a pretty easy replacement. If you do that in some paint, it's gonna feel brand new. Now you are gonna have a fenced backyard and it is a really big backyard. You're gonna have a lot of space to do whatever you want really. You can play cornhole, have the dogs run around, have the kids play, and then you're gonna have that patio to watch everything go on. Now in the kitchen, you are going to have original cabinets and they are a little outdated, but they are still in really good condition. Same with the countertop. Everything is still usable. You could move in here and live right in it. However, these aren't the type of cabinets that I would want to just paint. I think that decoration that is in them is going to look a little strange if they were painted a different color. So you could get them refaced and just have some new faces on them, or you could just go all out and redo everything. Now this area is connected to the front, so it is a big circle. And then you're gonna have a couple steps down into another living space, we'll call it the family room. And in there you're going to have a fireplace that you can use in the winter to heat the home and actually help with those bills. Now you're gonna have a access to the backyard through there and you're gonna have a sliding door to get through onto that patio. Now this wall is a floor to ceiling rock style and it gives it a really nature-like feeling. It is really earthy in here. Now off of that room, you are going to have a bedroom and this bedroom is nice because it is on the first floor. You're not gonna have to go up any stairs and it's got some laminate floors that are in decent shape. They're not buckling or anything, but it's a relatively cheap laminate in here. And you are going to have an ensuite as well. Now this has a newer vanity and I'm guessing this wasn't originally here. Both the bathroom and the bedroom, I'm guessing that they added this on at some point just to kind of make it a little bit easier for whoever the homeowner was that was living here. Now you're gonna have a closet in the bathroom and that's probably gonna be where you store all of your clothes and your shoes and stuff and act as your regular closet for that room. And then you're also going to have another room which is gonna have your washer and dryer and that also has access to your garage with a little bit more storage as well. Now, as we start to pan around, you're gonna see that it's got another section over here and they have a little gas heater in here. I'm guessing that's because the furnace doesn't reach over into this area just because of how they built the addition. 
Now you have a shower and it's a step-in shower. It's not a tub, but you do have the luxury of having the tile inside of the shower. Now, as we start to work our way back in to check out the rest of the house, you are going to have a lot of storage in here. It's pretty nice. You're not going to have any shortage of it by any means. Now, as we start to enter this hallway that is off of the family room, you're going to have another full bathroom. And this one is a pretty tiny bathroom. You are going to be a little cramped in here, but it is a full bathroom nonetheless. Now in the shower, you are just going to be a standing shower and it's decent size. It's a small door that you're going to have to squeeze through. But like I said, it's a shower and you are also going to have access to the basement from here. Now, as we go down the stairs, you are going to see that this floor is a tile and it's starting to pop up in some places, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And you've got that older wood grain panel board that is up. But the nice part about this house is it's one of those where you could get it at a pretty good price to where you can afford to do some work on top of it and then still come out with equity. And that is really the name of the game. I love these style homes because you're not going to have a ton of competition whereas if you go for that fresh flip it's going to have a lot of competition that you are going to be bidding up and paying way over asking price now here i'm guessing is the old coal room i don't know what they're really planning on doing with this but it's just kind of beat up and just something that isn't pretty so you're going to want to hide it and then off of this other living space, you are going to have your furnace and your hot water tank and just your other mechanicals throughout here. Now this furnace is really old and it's probably gonna need some sort of service relatively soon. So that is something you're gonna wanna keep in mind. And then it looks like there is some seepage in here. So you're gonna definitely wanna look at the grating outside because 90% of the time that's what fixes your problems. And if it's not that, you're probably gonna run into some more expensive costs to where you have to get a French drain installed or fix the drain tiles outside. But like I said, 90% of the time, you're going to be able to fix by just grading the grass outside so that the water pitches away from the house. Now, I'm not a inspector, but that has just been my experience with it. It's usually not the drains that are running along the house that wash the storm water away but that's just part of living in this area you're going to have to deal with keeping up with a basement. Now you have the opportunity to get a house that has a slab or is built on a crawl space. But even if you get that crawl space, you're gonna to have to keep up with that grass to make sure all the water is washing away properly. Now, as we're starting to work our way back towards the front of the house, we are gonna head upstairs and this staircase has a carpet runner on it. And then you're also gonna have carpet on the second floor. Now, as you'll notice on the walls, there is a lot of peeling wallpaper, which is never fun to rip off, but you're going to have your work cut out for you if you end up in this house. Now, in the upstairs bathroom, you have this mosaic tile that is pretty interesting. I've never seen something like that in a shower or wrapped around the rest of the bathroom, and it's all in really good condition. I'm guessing back in the day, this house was a really classy house just with how it was styled. Now in the bathroom, you are gonna have a little bit of a makeup stand that you can kind of work and not have to be by the sink. And then you also are going to have a bidet in this bathroom. Now there was a bidet downstairs as well, and you don't see these too often. Uh, it's normally just included with the toilet seat, but these guys had their separate units, which is pretty interesting. Now into the bedrooms upstairs they're of decent size you've got your bifold door closets some older windows hardwood floors so it's got that nice addition to it and i'm guessing there is hardwood under the carpet that is in the hallway but you're gonna have to kind of lift that up to see but this bedroom also has the hardwood and it's a little bit bigger than that first one so you're gonna have a little bit more opportunity to fit a bigger bed and have some more storage now in this bedroom you are going to have access to the bathroom as well but it's more of a jack and joe bathroom you're going to have access through the hallway and that bedroom now in the very last bedroom up here you're also going to have your hardwood floors original trim and again older windows but as long as they're not cracked you're all right now as we start to head back downstairs i don't think you can go wrong with living in this area i really like the parma area i grew up here and i had a good experience and it's still incredibly affordable to live there. So 
no matter who is heading over this way, I think you're going to have a pretty solid opportunity as far as schooling goes for your children and job opportunities just that Cleveland has to offer as a whole. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you. It shows that you might be looking to move to the Parma area. And if you are, I invite you to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description, or if it makes it a little bit easier, you can feel free to call or text me here. But if you find yourself down in the description, checking out my social media, make sure you click that like button before you leave the page because it's going to help me out a ton. But with all that being said, I'm going to leave the video there. I'll catch you in the next one.